In this video, we will learn how to figure out if the molecule given to us is chiral or achiral. And we will use my chart to do so. So here's the chart. The first question we have to ask ourselves is, are there any stereogenic centers? There are multiple names for stereogenic centers. They're also called chiral centers, stereogenic carbons, chiral carbons. So basically, it's a carbon. Usually it's a carbon that's connected to four different different groups and you can look at my other videos to see um, to see more on this topic but basically we have to find a carbon and see if it is connected to four different groups going atom by atom and if it is it is a stereogenic center so going back to our chart are there any stereogenic centers if the answer is no the molecule will be a chiral not chiral if the answer is yes we have to ask another question. Are there two or more stereogenic carbons? If the answer is no, our molecule is chiral. If the answer is yes, there is yet another question to ask, and it is, is there a line of symmetry that cuts the molecule in half with two identical halves? Now, your line of symmetry can be vertical, diagonal, or horizontal, or, or as long as it cuts the molecule in half, that's going to be a line of symmetry and the two halves are identical. Now, if the answer is no, then the molecule is chiral. If the answer is yes, you have a molecule that is achiral. It's a special case and this is called a meso molecule. A meso molecule is a molecule that has stereogenic centers, yet it is achiral. Let's go ahead and practice um, uh, determining whether the molecule is chiral or not with the questions and using my chart. So let's look at A here. The first question we ask ourselves is, the, are there any stereogenic centers? Looking at this carbon, we can see that this carbon is connected to three groups here, and that means it's connected to a hydrogen because every carbon wants to have four groups. So if you see only three, that means there is a hydrogen. And let's see if, um, if we have uh, any stereogenic centers. So this carbon, it's connected to oxygen, hydrogen, that's different, and it's connected to carbon and carbon. So far, there's no difference between the two carbons. As we go on the left, this is carbon again, and on the right, carbon again. And then they, they're connecting to the same carbon. So we can see here that as we go on the left and on the right, there is no difference in our groups. Therefore, this carbon is not stereogenic. We can do the same for the bottom carbon. And we can see that this carbon going up and going up to the right and up to the left, also there is no difference. And this carbon is also not stereogenic. So if you look at our chart, are there any stereogenic centers? If the answer is no, our molecule is achiral. Therefore, this molecule is a chiral. For now, I'm going to skip B and I will come back to it and I will do C first. Again, we have to ask ourselves, are there any stereogenic centers? Well, this carbon is connected to OH. It's also connected to a hydrogen that we have to show. Then it's connected to a carbon and a carbon, no difference. So we have to keep on going. The carbon on the left is connected to another carbon. The carbon on the right is connected to another carbon. The car this carbon is connected to two hydrogens only, while this carbon is connected to an OH group. There is therefore a difference, and therefore this carbon is a stereogenic carbon. Now let's erase all of that to determine um, to look at our chart. Are there stereogenic centers? We said yes. Are there two or more stereogenic carbons? So now we can take a look at this one. It also has a hydrogen. We have oxygen, hydrogen, and as we go to the left and to the right, we go carbon, carbon. No difference, carbon, carbon. And we can see that going to the right, there is a difference between because this carbon is connected to the OH group and this one is not. Therefore, this is also a stereogenic center. Let's just erase all of our drawing here and show that these two are stereogenic. Okay, now we will can 
can come back to our chart? So the answer is yes, there are two stereogenic carbons. Now we have to ask ourselves, is there a line of symmetry that cuts the molecule and have its two identical halves? You might think that there is a line of symmetry that goes through this. However, because the configuration here is dashed, but here it's wedged, these two groups are not the same. And therefore, this is not a line of symmetry. If they would be the same, if they would be both wedged or both dashed, that would be a line of symmetry. But because one is wedged and another is dashed, they're not identical. There is no line of symmetry. And we can see that if there is no line of symmetry, the molecule is chiral. Therefore, this molecule is chiral. And let's continue going through this. Let's go to E next. First, we ask ourselves, is there a chiral carbon or stereogenic center? This carbon is connected to chlorine, hydrogen, and then when we go to the left and to the, when we go, it's connected to two carbons here, but they're different because this carbon is next to a chlorine and this one is not. So that carbon is stereogenic. So we're going to put a little asterisk next to it. And the carbon next to it with another chlorine group is stereogenic as well. The next question we go through our chart is asking us, let's see, are there any stereogenic centers? We said yes. Are there two or more stereogenic centers or carbons? We said yes, there are two. So the last question is, is there a line of symmetry? If you take a look at this molecule, you can see that if you cut this way, you have exactly two identical halves. The chlorines match, unlike part C where OHs did not match, here the chlorines match and everything else matches. Since there is a line of symmetry, this compound is called miso and it is achiral. So a meso compound is a compound or molecule that has two or more stereogenic centers, and, but it has a line of symmetry that cuts the molecule in half with two identical halves. So we can see that this molecule, E, had two stereogenic carbons, yet it has a plane of symmetry, a line through the middle of the molecule that has two identical halves. And therefore, my compound is meso, and meso molecule is always achiral. So E is achiral.